Good morning, Donna. Good morning. Good morning, Gina. Good morning, Bubba. Take this time to share it out and still getting everything set up. Good Saturday morning, yes. Good morning, Evil Jessica. Oh, we got shit. There you go. Uh, I'm doing okay today. I'm doing all right. I'm uh, working on getting everything set up here so I can uh, see the comments. Okay. There's going to be a couple more seconds. Working on all this shit. Almost done. And then I'll see the comments. Gonna be a few. Okay. Let me get out of this. All right. Good morning, Debbie. Uh, Mernin equally evil. You. Oh Jesus, Mernin equally evil. I'm not evil. I'm a happy demon. I'm a very loving, happy demon. I don't know what you're talking about. Me being Ervil. That's not working though. <laughs> Good morning, Debbie. Oh, uh, looks like I got blown up on TikTok again. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. We're up to 1,700 views on one video, over 1,000 on another. That's good. Okay. Close that. That is closed. All right. Poofed. Poofed. Poofed yourself. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this morning, this morning, this morning has been lies. It's been, uh, it's been one hell of a night. My daughter's here. She's in the bed sleeping and she's going to wake up in a couple hours and want to, you know, spend the day together. And I've ended up working all night last night. So I'm going to be exhausted today. It's 32 there. It is probably in the 70s here. Sun's coming up. All right, let me see. It is 63 degrees outside today with a high of in the 70s. High of 70. So tomorrow, high of 80. Tomorrow, the next day, high of 82, 85, 80, 75, 79, 82. We're still in the 70s and 80s here. Hey, need music that isn't going to put me to sleep. Okay. All right. Hang on. Let me see what we got here. Dude, 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 Hype. Uh. I'm on with hype, so we'll see what happens. Nice. We may hit 50 today. We ain't gonna hit 50 viewers today. That's for damn sure. <laughs> well, you have work today, so you're gonna... Or do you have work today? You work on Saturdays, right? That's a little perkier, per perkier. We don't say that's perkier in here. We say that's tits. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. Anyway, what is going on today, ladies and gentlemen, and lurkers out there on the timeline watching? What's going on today? How are you? How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. I know you're tired, Debbie. I was talking about Jessica. 
She got work today? Yeah, she got work today. So she gotta get her ass to work. Ha 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 ha. I got to go to sleep in a little bit. She gotta go to work. You and you and Evan alone? Aw. Y'all gonna have an office romance? Cause we know you's a hoe. He's a hoe. <laughs> Good morning, Jonathan Bass. How you doing? Let's pick on Jessica Day again. She didn't have enough yesterday. She came back for more today. Uh, good morning. Time to share. Yeah, time to share. Absolutely. If you get us up to 5,000 viewers in the next 10 seconds, I'll give away a car. <laughs> It'll be Jessica's car. I'm going to give you Jessica's car. She might not like it. She may have to hide it for a couple years until she forgets about it. Just saying. just did it <laughs> cool cool appreciate it appreciate it yeah uh it's a it's one of those days today i'm tired man like like i'm just tired work kicked my butt last night i had an apartment complex that had a crap load of buildings on it. they were all really nasty and it took me from about 10 o'clock until about well, 1 30 2 o'clock in the morning just for that one order it was insane i was like oh my god and then i had of course the regular orders that i had to do after that so I literally just got done with work just a little bit ago. You can F and try. I don't have to F and try. Girl, I will pump your house full of sleeping, sleeping stuff. The sleeping gases stuffs. Come in, get your keys, and just take it. Or I'll offer your daughter a bunch of money just to, just to steal the keys for me. You didn't tell me how her uh, sugar daddy date went. <laughs> Why, why didn't you tell me how our sugar daddy date went? <laughs> oh. oh, she's going to be like, rah, 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 rah. You are not happy. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if you get me to 500 billion viewers right now, I will give away a space shuttle. Okay, just kidding. You can be limping away. You can be limping, pimping. <laughs> Get one of those little Hyundai accents. I'm, I wouldn't want a little, mm -mm. I, I wouldn't even, that, that's not even a car. So no, no, that's not even an option. But hey, thanks. She made it home 15 minutes early. I bet she did. She was out with an old guy. He had to get to bed. <laughs> good morning, Bubba. How you doing, man? You hope you're doing good this morning. So have y'all been sharing it out that the shirts are coming out October 24th? Y'all been telling people? Y'all been, been lighting them up? Telling everybody to go get a damn shirt? I need to, uh, I need to work on a campaign to get, uh, to get my followers up on TikTok, on Instagram, and on here, as well as sales for the t-shirt. I need to work on something that's gonna, gonna generate that. Debbie says, nah, I'm gonna keep my Jeep. I don't blame you. I love Jeeps. Jeeps are the shit. I'm a Dodge man. For those who don't know, it's a Dodge Jeep Eagle. That's why they've got a Jeep Cherokee with a Hellcat motor in it that's a Firehawk or Firetrack, whatever it's called. It's so fucking it's bad. It's awesome. That, yeah, that accent was ridiculously slow. It had a horn on it that sounded ridiculous too. It was like, me, 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 me. It was, it was, it was really sad. It was a sad car. So good morning, everybody that's in here and everybody that's watching from the timeline. I see you keep popping in and out out there. That's okay though. We love y'all regardless. Zero to 60 in 15 minutes, more like zero to never. I don't think that car could hit 60. Uh, yes, they will be coming out at all Spencers, every Spencers in the United States uh, on October 24th. Uh, they will be coming out. Now, Now, Cult of Fools is coming out the 17th with Relics, Willy Vodkas, and uh, the, the one from uh, Chris FX. And then Mine, Stitches, and the other one's coming out 
on the 24th. I have a renegade. Renegade's badass. badass. You ain't got no bicycle. Jessica, you ain't got no damn bicycle. I could just imagine you're, you you on a bicycle. That would be hilarious. Now, if you get on a bicycle, I want video just so I can post it on the internet and go viral and, and, and make lots of money off of your, your ass trying to ride a bicycle. Good morning, Joshua. How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yeah, you can also, if you can't make it down to a Spencer's Gift, you can also order them online at BigChrisArt.com. Uh, you also got turbo. That's awesome. That's all. That's awesome. And just be gone forever. Just like dip into a pothole. Yo, I ain't even kidding you. Um, there's some potholes down here that that car would it would, it would eat that car. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, I ain't I ain't having have one of those. You're off to Six Flags for Fright Fest. That's awesome, dude. Um, I worked Fright Fest years and years and years ago. And it was a real good time, man. It was a good time. I enjoyed it. We were talking about it the other day. I've been doing so busy with the filming and, and everything else that I haven't worked a haunt in literally years. It's been forever since I worked a haunt because I've been working in, you know, the whole film industry tv stuff and working on roofs and and doing live shows and hitting conventions and doing everything else but um i was going to this year but then you know all that shit happened and i'm like eh eh it's your third year going yeah that's badass man absolutely Yeah, absolutely, man. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I, uh, I am, I'm, I'm going to hand out candy at the house this year. I know that I got a couple other things I got to do. I got some live shows I got to do at Spencer's Gifts. Um, I got to be there, uh, Biloxi, Mississippi, uh, Metairie, Louisiana, New Orleans, and I think Mobile or Florida. I'm not sure which one the third one is yet. I still haven't found out yet. But I'm going to be doing some live feeds and going up and promoting the shirt sales and Cold Fools at some of the Spencer's gifts, and that's going to be lots of fun. Um, I've got, to matter of fact, I need to call Monday. I've got to call and get everything ready for next, because it's like it's next weekend, I think, isn't it? Um, yeah, i got to call Monday, because it's the, not next weekend, but the next weekend. Um, I'll be on tour with the 24th, 25th, 26th, and I think 27th. I'm not sure about the 27th, though. The 24th, 25th, and 26th for sure, I'll be out and running about. So, two weeks from now, basically, um, we'll be promoting them sales and, uh, and stores and doing live shows and meeting people, meet and greets, handing out some business cards and some clown noses and stuff. Which reminds me, I gotta order some more clown noses. Oh, good gosh. Um,. Yeah, that's gonna be lots of fun. Lots of fun. Um, looks like we're like five minutes in, and I'm, I feel like I've been here for ten years. I'm so tired. Uh, what else we got going on today? We got the we got you going to you're going over to Six Flags. Uh, Jessica is is going to be going to work. Uh, Debbie's still retired, but got an awesome Jeep. Uh, who else is in here? Gina, what you up to today? You got anything good going on today, girl? Anything, anything good happening? What days in Biloxi? Uh, 24th. I'll be there on the 24th. Um, yeah, that is, that will be the 24th. Oh wait, Gina's the Gina's the lady from New, from uh, Australia, I think. Yeah, that's awesome. So it's probably like day, it's like nighttime over there or something. Leanne, what's up? What's up? Not going to work already? I'm at work. Yeah, it's weekend. It is the weekend. Hell yeah, 
Hell yeah, but uh, Jessica, the 24th is on a Thursday. So I'll be there on a Thursday during the day at the mall um, or, or during the evening. I think during the evening. Um, yeah, you're gonna be at work. So you're not gonna be able to make it, but you can come down in the evening time or you can watch the live feeds because I'll be doing live feeds from the mall. I'll be setting up and doing lives with the uh, tablet and the phone um, from the mall, scaring people, screwing with people. Uh, they got to talk. Or they got to call Monday because they're gonna call corporate Monday, and then they're gonna talk to the GM and the general manager, and then they're gonna do put something. I got they're gonna do something for my arrival, and then I'm going to drive in in face, drive down, and walk through the mall in face, get to the store. Being loud and obnoxious, Abaddon Apollyon. It's gonna be awesome. That's what I'm saying. You work Thursday, but after after because the mall doesn't close until nine, and I'll probably be there during the evening time. So, I'm probably going towards the evening. It sure is night relaxing at home. That's awesome. I think Joyster had told me, said something about you one day and uh, about being in, uh, in Australia. I like Australia, it's pretty cool. The only problem is, is everything in Australia wants to kill you, including the people. <laughs> Uh, so y'all, it is James Scurvy's birthday today. So if y'all see Scurvy, make sure to tell Scurvy happy birthday. Uh, and it was Joyster yesterday, apparently. I, I, I called him about 10, 10 p.m. and told him happy birthday. So yeah, it's Scurvy's birthday uh, today. And yeah, bring yeah, bring Minnie with you. Yeah. Or Minnie can go, or Minnie can just go with me when I go down there, and she can work the camera for me. That might be something she can do for me. She can work the cameras and uh, and handle some of the merchandise for me while I'm uh, while I'm doing my thing, because uh, I'll have to have somebody with me anyway. Uh, you know, to beat off all of the uh, unruly fans with a stick. Good morning, David. Good morning. Yeah, so, yeah, when she wakes up, just ask her if she just wants to go with me on that day. Because then she can just ride with me and we can uh, go and do, you know, she can, like I said, do all the camera work and all that stuff. We're doing TikToks and uh, live feeds, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we'll be going on Spencer's, all kinds of good shit. Lots of fun. Not all of you want to kill? Gina, come on. Gina. 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 This is Australia you're talking about. Okay. Yes, you do. Yes, you, you want to kill. You've you've wanted to kill somebody before. There's <laughs> except for that one guy that chased down the guy, chased down the the robber or whatever, the guy that robbed the car or whatever the hell he was. Uh, mate, mate, right, right, mate. I chased him down. That was a, that was hilarious. Chased him down in his knickers and in his underwear. She doesn't bother me, Jessica. Me and your daughter get along fine. We get along better than me and you do because you're an ass. She's cool. Good morning, David. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, yours is the 23rd. You can call me. What is? Oh, your birthday is the 23rd. I will call you. If you remind me, if you remind me, De uh, Debbie, I will call you. I will give a video call on your birthday if you remind me. Absolutely, we'll do that. 100%. Oh, God, dude. It is so almost time to go to bed. Oh, that's good. You took it over. That's good, David. That's good. I'm glad you finally got your car situation situated. That's good. We do antagonize each, antagonize each other, but we like both like going 100 miles per hour through tunnels, so we'll be all right. <clears throat> to be 61 years young, that's amazing, Debbie. That's awesome. Happy pre. Happy pre-birthday. Absolutely happy pre-birthday. That's awesome. Stop that shit. My day is just starting. Oh, girl, my day is just ending. I am ready to go to bed. Okay. 
I have worked my butt off last night. I am mentally and physically drained. I don't even want to play. I usually play some video games before I go to sleep. I don't even want to play video games this morning. As soon as I get off this live feed, I'm walking my ass in there and going to bed. This is exactly what's going to happen. Uh, Jenny, your son turns four on the 21st. Tell your son I said happy birthday from Avadana Polyon and everybody here. That is awesome. You wanted to murder me for that. Oh, you, you got to be talking about the tunnel. <laughs> we took videos for you so you could see. Because, you know, you went through the tunnel with me, too. You know damn well that if I hit a tunnel in my car, I am not going slow and the windows are going down. You know it's going to happen. There's there's no other option in the world. So if y'all don't realize it, my car is really, really loud. Like it is insanely loud. I got three and a half inch exhaust all the way or four inches all the way. It is all the way out there from the headers all the way out. And it is loud. And we get into a tunnel and I downshift and I nail it. And I, I'm talking about 120 miles per hour, full gun, full blown gas guzzling, going through tunnels. It sounds amazing. I love it. Yeah. If a cop ever wanted to catch me and get me with a speeding ticket, all he's got to do is sit in the tunnel and then let me and tell me to come visit him. Because I can't help it. I can't help it. As soon as I hit a tunnel, it's downshift. It's gone. I got to do it. 550 horsepower of screaming Dodge Hemi. You don't think for a second I'm not going to floor it going through a damn tunnel? Come on. When Jessica was with me and we went through the tunnel in Mobile, um, when I floored it, <laughs> damn dude, the truck almost hit a wall. It scared him so bad. He, <laughs> he almost hit a wall. It was hilarious. Uh, Jessica, no, we didn't do 120 with her in the car. We hit like 160. Thank you very much. Um, I was in a wimp. I didn't wimp out at 120 because I still had two gears to go. So, yeah. Just saying. I would love the tunnel in Colorado. There's a tunnel. Um, where did I go? I don't even remember where I went now. Um, when I was heading up to Kentucky, there was a there was a tunnel. That was probably like two and a half, three miles long. Oh my God. <laughs> that was fun. Thirty-five degrees. Holy shit, dude. It's sixty something. It'll be seventy degrees here today. It'll be in the eighties for the rest of the week where I live. I live in a subtropical climate, right on the right on the Gulf of Mexico. I'll go sit on the beach whenever I want to. It's right down the road. If y'all have seen the live feed from cruising the coast. Um, then you ought to see all the hot rods and stuff like that. I was sitting on the beach. Well, we're sitting on a restaurant right on the other side of the highway from the beach. But yeah. Yeah, it'll be in the 80s here the rest of the week. Yeah, I was freaking out the other day because because uh, uh, Big Chris came out with a damn video. He's walking outside and it was snowing. I'm like, why the hell is it snowing? I'm like, what the hell? Like, we're wearing shorts. It's 80 degrees down here. Like, well, who, where is it snowing? And then I just realized that it's October. So everybody else in the world is, is experiencing what we call fall and winter conditions. We don't have that here. <laughs> the mobile one gives you anxiety. That's because you were in the car with me. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So yeah, so that was lots of fun. My car tunnel fast zoom 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 i covered my eyes with yeah she did she she did in the tunnel she did cover her eyes and she was yelling the whole time she was screaming at me to slow down and stop it and and but then she really wanted me to go faster to get her out from the tunnel because she didn't want to be in the tunnel so it was kind of it was kind of it was kind of humorous All right, y'all are seeing Mohawk. Why am I not seeing Mohawk? Um, I need I need to figure that out uh, because I'm not seeing him at all, and I I don't think I have Mohawk blocked. And if I do have him blocked, I don't know why I would because I like Mohawk. So I'm going to go check my settings now. Uh, no, because I don't have anybody blocked on this page. I don't even know how to block people on this damn page. 
Um, yeah, I don't have anybody. All right, I'm not seeing Mohawk's comments. Uh, so tell him I'm sorry. Uh, if he's saying anything to me, tell him I'm sorry. I can't see his uh, comments. Oh, 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 okay, no, no, John. Okay, I see that one. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I see him. Okay, good. You had me worried there for a second, David. I'm thinking that he was in on Mohawk, and I was like, damn it. Okay. All right, I, yeah, I can see Jonathan Bass. Okay. Y'all had me worried for a second. I was thinking, oh, shit, and then somebody done my, I'm from my damn company done screwed up. And they do that every once in a while. I got you. I got you, Jonathan. I got you. I see you now. I was I was worried for a second, but I got you. I got you. Got you. Go. You know what I forgot to do? I should I should upload my Daniel Harris video up to my TikTok. Good morning, Lori. How are you? Good morning, 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 morning. Where's fall? It's not here. We don't have fall down here. We go from straight, I'm telling you, and I'm not even kidding you, Jessica will attest to this. We go, it'll be 70 degrees, 80 degrees, 80 degrees, 80 degrees, 30 degrees. It, it, it will, winter will hit in one day. Good morning, Jason. Biggs is up in the house, ladies and gentlemen. My man, Biggs, the president of Clown Cartel up there in Texas. Amazing guy right there. We love Jason. So it's official. You're like the, what is it, the second or third day president? Prez. Ladies and gentlemen, the president is in the room. <laughs> Went from summer to winter. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, look, we go from summer, we go from hot to cold. It goes from 80 to 40 degrees here. Like somebody saw the state troopers. I'm just saying it is that quick. It's like done. We don't have like it just kind of wheezes into winter. It goes from hot to cold in one day. Wake up like what the fuck just happened. Yeah, last year I was sitting on the porch in shorts and it started getting chilly, like it just started getting chilly during the day, and then it started getting cold, and then it was freezing. And one day, I walked out, was sitting comfortably on my porch in shorts last year, and I was like, damn, well, there's winter. Winter's here. And then, like, three days later, we were at the beach because it was back in the 70s and 80s. Good morning, Jason. All right, so... We got a few people in here now. We can go ahead and talk about this. I think I have decided that I am going to go ahead and spend the money and get me a mail order bride. What do you think? Think I should? <laughs> uh, somebody told me I should order two just in case I don't like one. I could send her back and keep the other one. Yeah, y'all live way up north, though. Like, crazy north. <laughs> yeah, Jessica, your whole, your whole planet, 40 years old, I nixed it. It's done. Your little stunt the other day disqualified you forever. That's right, Biggs is in the house. We love Biggs. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, Roy said, no, I shouldn't. I should, no, I, no, I'm definitely, I definitely should. Have you seen the women on that uh, mailorderbrides.com? I mean, have you seen them? Come on, they're gorgeous. And you know they're willing to, uh, to, to come over here for a green card. Hey, come on! What what better pick up what better pickup line is there? Hey, baby girl, do you need a green card? <laughs> oh no, whatever, no whatever, Jessica, you are disqualified for life. Do 
your stunt cost you? Oh man, I'm I'm so tired. I can barely think. Like I just zoned out. Like I totally just zoned out. Like I was fixing to go sleep in my face. Better go watch 90 Day Fiance. I do watch 90 Day Fiance. It, it, I, I I'm doing research so I know which ones to look for, and which ones to stay away from. I'm looking at which countries are good, which countries are bad. Like I'm watching. I'm paying attention. That's an excellent research show. Russian swimsuit models. I know. Come on, Tommy. What's going on? How you doing? I am so fixing to go night night. I can't wait. All right, let's see here. No, I, I might be stuck with you as a friend, but that's it. You ain't, we ain't, the, the 40 year marriage thing is off the table. Done, done, no. Good morning, Tommy, how are you? Russian swimsuit model, absolutely. I, I, zoomed, I zoned out again, that's how tired I am. Your sweet charms no longer work on Jessica. Yeah, they yeah, are work with Jessica, that's correct. Your sweet, your sweet charms do not work, you are done. You are done. I'll put it this way. I'll put it this way, Jessica. You were so done, so done that I don't want, I don't even want you to send nudes. No, none, no. You are cut off completely in any, in any romantic setting. You're done. I will introduce you to girls so you become friends with them just so I can date them and make you mad. Good morning, Ann Pitts. Good morning. Yep, she is done. Yeah, that's pretty done. That's right. I don't even want nudes. I don't even want I don't even want her I don't even want her to send nudes of other people. Like I don't even want she is so done that if she introduced me to a beautiful woman tomorrow, I would tell the beautiful woman no. Oh, it's not gonna make you mad. I know it's not gonna make you mad. You don't care. See, that's the problem. You don't care. You don't care. You got no heart. You got no feelings. I'm zoning out again. I'm so tired. Debbie says, I ain't got no baggage. Oh, wait, I think I just missed the table getting flown. I did, I missed the table getting flown. Oh, that was crazy. Like, everything went over. Debbie says, come your ass up here. It ain't no lie. No, it ain't. Yeah. Mm, it ain't no lie. It ain't no lie. You, you are beyond done. Oh, 
I'll, I'll take the zero pass. I'm uh You know, I know Miami Kings won last night out on in the morning. Luckily better. Oh, I don't know. I mean, if that's your team, man, congratulations. If that's your team, absolutely. The no feeling was a lot. No, it's not a lot. You ain't got feelings? Liar. You are the type of woman that if you smile, I'm going to ask what you want. I'm just saying. You ain't got no feelings. Anyway, yeah, if your team won, man, that's great. That, congratulations. That's awesome, man. I know I know the feeling. I don't do sports, but, I mean, I get the whole people getting excited when, they're, when their teams win and everything. I think that's awesome, you know. I just I don't get into sports because if I started watching them and I liked it, then I'd want to watch it all the time. You know what I mean? And the way I work and all of the stuff that I do with my job and everything, um, I wouldn't be able to watch it as much as I'd want. And that would make me mad because I'd miss a game. So, like, I just I just don't do it. I just don't even watch it. Like, I enjoy racing. I don't like NASCAR, but I enjoy racing. I like the indie racing, and I like uh, watching the bikes at, uh, you know, Isle of Man TT, stuff like that. Um, but I don't even watch it because... When I get into the races, get into race season and stuff like that, and I want to watch it, I can't watch it because I'm working so much, and it's like, shit, it pisses me off. So it's like TV series and TV stuff. The only TV series that I watched religiously uh, as it was going on was Game of Thrones. Other than that, I wait till it comes out. I wait till the till it's done, and then I watch. Then I binge watch it all at once. So it's like I've got three seasons left of Supernatural to watch. But I, I, I stopped watching it like three seasons ago to let them catch up. And then now, now when they're done, and I know that they're ending the, sh the show now. So once they're done, they end the show, then I'll go watch the rest of it. I'm not going to even watch it until they're done. That way I can binge watch it when I want to. Can't do that with sports, though. Because there's always another game. Oh, God, I'm going back. So yeah, so move the microphone over here. So yeah, this is a, a quiet day today. We only got about eight people up in here. Um, it's it's pretty quiet. Um, not a lot of chatting going on, people. You know we like to get the, the that chat box number up to about two hundred. So y'all better start typing. Come on now, y'all can do it. I got faith in you. Start typing. Y'all y'all have a conversation in there. You, I like watching football, but that's all. Now, your football is soccer, right? Like, what you call football in Australia is soccer. What we call soccer here, if I'm correct. Um, I know that's what they are. Most, most places overseas are like that. You love the Game of Thrones? Yeah, I did too. I, I, I liked it all the way up to the ending. They It's like the writers just uh, crashed uh, uh, what was it? seven years of great writing into shit at the last minute so now we got Australia and we got Scotland up in here we got some diversity going on in the room good morning Terry Saturday morning they should be sleeping you only watch Army Navy game in the Super Bowl yeah, that's good I didn't watch those um, I used to watch the lingerie bowl because girls running around in panties and bras doing football was, was interesting to me because I was, was always waiting for the bra to break, <laughs> but I haven't watched that in shit years and years. I don't even know if they still do it. Um, Good afternoon there, Scotland. Good afternoon. 
I love all kinds of sports, but don't watch it. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Uh, I'm the one on the like button a thousand times. Oh, hell yeah. Well, thank you. Everybody throw up some hearts, man. Thank you so much, Roy. I appreciate it. I'm zoning out. Like, I am so tired that I'm sitting here zoning out. I, it's like I forgot I'm on live feed. The other night, too, I was working, and it was real quiet. I was, I was live on Mixer, and it was real quiet. Uh, there was like three or four people in there just chilling out. And nobody was saying anything. And I got so into work that I forgot I was on live. I was like, huh? I looked up and I was like, oh, shit, I'm live. I should be talking. What the hell? I was like, for two hours, I didn't say a word. Oh, my legs are just popping. So I've noticed that there's been a trend lately on Facebook where girls are bragging and guys too are bragging about being able to take other people's significant others uh i just saw it again as i was looked up i just saw another person that i know it's like uh uh it, here you go uh, i'm a whore because her man was cheating on her with me bless your little northern gullible heart sweet pea sue me for this bitch um Yes, if you if, if if you just listen to the words that you wrote, that is bad. You, 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 what is wrong with people? And re- if I go up to a woman and I'm like, "Hi, my name is Abaddon," or "Hi, my name is Todd," and she says, "Hi," and I'm like, "Are you single?" and she says, "No," or you know, "No, I'm not single. I got a boyfriend." I'd be like, "Okay, well, I hope y'all have a great relationship and everything works out for you." And I turn around and walk the fuck away. You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to to try to lure somebody to cheating on their person with me. So what, they could cheat on me with somebody else? That's trash. That's trash. You know what I mean? The the it's been out. It's been a long time now. It's been years since the the one girlfriend broke my heart hardcore. Broke my heart. But that's what happened. The guy said, hey, "Do you have a boyfriend?" She said, "Yes." And he and he goes, "Do you mind if he, if we were, do you think he'd mind if we're talking?" And she goes, "Not as friends." And and he's like, "No, no, like talking, talking." And she goes, "Yeah, he'd pro- probably mind that since he's my boyfriend." And he was like, "All right," and he continued to talk to her any damn way. At that point, he should have got up, walked away. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, I was sitting at the bar with my girlfriend one day, and this guy starts hitting on her. And she's like, I've got a boyfriend. And his his immediate response was, I'm better than he is. I can be, I'm better than he is. He ain't got shit on me, da 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 And she goes like, how the fuck do you know? And I'm sitting right there now, not saying a word. She goes, how the hell do you know? You don't even know him. It don't matter who he is. I'm better than he is. So she looked at me, and she goes, he thinks he's better than you. And I was like... That motherfucker doesn't look like he even pay his bills. What kind of car do you drive? Is it something nice? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he was like, oh, 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 man, I didn't know. It doesn't matter. You didn't know I was sitting here and just spitting all that bullshit to this girl that just told you that she's got a man. You're a piece of shit. Get the fuck away from me. Like, it's, it's crazy. But now the trend is that girls are starting to jump on this game of... Can I be a homewrecker? And I'm not bad. He, he didn't cheat on me. He was cheating on her. That's not how this works, baby girl. That's not how this works. If you coax a man with your vagina out of a relationship, you're a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, I know that. You've you've squared up with fucking chicks that talk to me. As and you my friend. But the point is, like, how trashy is that? Like imagine walking up to some girl and being like, Hey, yo, what's up? You know? You got a man, I can be better. I couldn't imagine doing that. You know what I mean? Like, where's the respect in the world nowadays? But like these girls here, man, like what I just seen on the damn internet, like these girls here are bragging about being able to take your man. I've seen it on TikTok too. There's a popular video on TikTok where there's a couple of them. One of them's like, you know, uh, shut up, I'll take your man. And the other one's, the other one is like, I'll take your woman. She goes, I'm not gay, but if you keep running your mouth, I'll fuck your wife. It's like, how, wh- why is that 
a popular thing now because that's bullshit. Like, uh, this world is just crap. It really is. If you're in a relationship with someone, you know, and this is like something I've said before. If you're in a relationship with someone and you're a cheater, you're going to take all of that energy, all that time of lying, denying, hiding, sneaking out, getting away, all of that energy that you're putting into being a cheater. If you put half that energy into your relationship, your relationship would be bulletproof. You know? Just good. The, but that's, see, that's the point. If, if you're dating the right person, then you don't have to worry about it because the dude would be like, get out of here, thought, be gone, be gone, thought. You know what I mean? But 90% of the guys out there are just as fucking bad. A girl comes up and says, I have a vagina and I'm pretty. I want to have sex with you. The guy's going to be like, okay, I like sex because guys are dumb, you know? If it says that's the whole point, you know, it's like girls, you don't realize how easy it is for girls. Girls can go to a bar, an ugly, an ugly, huge, ugly woman can go to the bar, have a couple drinks, and say, I'm horny, who's taking me home? And somebody gonna take her home. Somebody gonna take her home. Girls, it's easy for women. What's up, Jesse? Love you, brother. Miss talking with you. All right, so anyway, like I said, you can be ugly and nasty and you go to a bar have a few drinks yo I'm horny who's taking me home and somebody gonna take her home somebody going to a guy can be decent looking go into a bar and buy everybody around of drinks and still go home alone it's, it, it's just that's how it is that's just how it is girls can always have sex guys have to barter trade impress fluff their feathers up and walk around doing the damn mating dance to get a girl's attention. It's crazy. But here lately, it's becoming a thing where women are becoming more like what men used to be. Women are becoming more aggressive in that nature. And it's like, Jesus, like back in the day, a woman, some of you women even know this, know this because you're old enough to know this. You wouldn't dare think about walking into a bar and going, I need some dick. Well, I'm telling you right now, go to a bar tonight. Go to a bar tonight and listen to what the girls are saying, especially the younger girls. If they walk in the bar going, I'm going to get me some dick. Like loud. They're rude. They're obnoxious. They're, they're like, it's just, it's, it's, it's mind blowing to me. You know what? I, I do believe that, Jessica, because you do like throwing knuckles. You haven't thrown knuckles in a while, though. You might get your ass whooped. You then got older. She thinks you're weird for listening to me every morning? Well, that's okay. Maybe if she listened to me, too, uh, she'd understand. You gotta just gonna have to break her in and let her listen to a couple couple of clips. But that's okay. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and I get that. And that's fine. I go on rants a lot. But yeah, I, I normally I, I I've got positive quotes up and stuff, and I go through my messages and people send me a bunch of positive stuff to talk about. But uh Today, I'm just kind of browsing through the internet, browsing through Facebook, because I'm so dazed and tired. And I'm looking, and it's just insane. My my Twitter, my Twitter account, I cannot, because Twitter allows nudity. You can have full nudity. You can have damn porn on Twitter. I mean, they don't care. And I'm telling you, I cannot open my Twitter if my child is in the room, because I'm scared of what I'm going to see. Jessica, you are old. But it's okay. You own it. <clears throat> oh yeah dude absolutely I'm excited too my shirt should be in the mail any day now I should be getting my shirt any day I can't wait to get it I'm going to put my face on take pictures and this is going to be funny because I'm going to take a picture in my face in my shirt in front of my painting <laughs> Abaddon Overload holding my Abaddon doll
shit. I'm not even gonna tell you the age difference of my last girlfriend. My last girlfriend was a lot younger than me. But I've dated women my age, like Jessica, and they broken. They uh, they just broken. Uh, no, you are not just older. You are officially old, Jessica. You hit that shit last year, okay? Old. You're old. Your kid is in her twenties. Think about that for a second. Your kid is twenty. That makes you old. You have wrinkles, wrinkles. All right, and I know, I know you got, I know you're talking about Botox the other day. I know you're talking about when you start talking about Botox and you get excited for a damn air cooker, one of those air fryer cooker thing with jiggers. When you get excited about appliances and you start talking about Botox, you're old. Jessica says she's not fucking broken, Jessica. Um, oh, she's 19. I'm sorry. She's not 20 yet. She's 19. Jessica says she's not broken. Listen to me, Jessica. Listen, listen, Linda. Listen, listen. You got excited over appliances. I'm just saying. Okay. I know the feeling because I'm old. I'm old. I got excited about buying the refrigerator and the, and the, and the, and the new stove and the dishwasher and the, and the microwave. And we bought the whole kitchen thing. I was so excited about all those appliances. Don't hate on your kitchen appliances. See, look, you're you're defending your kitchen appliances. You old. <laughs> See, if you was young, you'd be like, where's my Patron? Where the hell did my tequila go? Don't you talk shit about tequila now, okay? But no, you're like, don't you talk shit about my kitchen. <laughs> you're just in denial. You're the queen of denial. Don't worry, I'm a lot older than you, so I'm speaking from experience. That air fryer is awesome. <laughs> She's still going off about the appliances. I rest my case, ladies and gentlemen. The court is the court is the court is session is over or whatever you call it. I session, whatever whatever you say. Court is uh whatever. Done. It's a Cenobite. Oh, there's a guy got a Cenobite mask. That is amazing. I love it. All right. When you hit my age, you'll consider yourself old. Uh, thank you, Ann Pitts. I really appreciate that. But I am, I am, I am well getting in my age, in my ears. Uh, Debbie, you should get an air fryer. They are really, really cool. Yeah, Jessica loves hers. She brought like like she has called me on video chat just to watch let me watch her make stuff on air fryer but i will tell you this she's got i don't know if it was the air fryer or if it was something else uh but there was some appliance that she has don't put gravy in it putting gravy in it's a really bad idea kind of like a pressure cooker don't put gravy in it yeah was it an electric pressure cooker you did that you put gravy in and it was it was a very bad idea. Ooh. You are your temporary block, why? Why, why would you be temporary blocked? That's weird. You know, hey, actually, you know what? My Facebook said something like that the other day too. Like, um, it was yesterday when I was getting off of the off of the live feed. It said that, um, like I went to the page, you know, where you hit uh, end stream, right? And it said something about me being blocked from something. And I was like, what the shit? And and then it was like your stream has ended. But my str I had still had to hit end. It didn't end the stream. It was really weird. Facebook's like got some screwed up things right now. 
But Roy, don't worry. I promise you, man. I, I'm not blocking you from this page. Uh, I don't block people from the... the well, I, I take that back. I blocked one person from this page. One person. That's it. And uh, I blocked them across the board. And that was... that. you got to be... You gotta do something pretty shitty to me in order for me to block you. The pressure cooker, yeah, the pressure cooker had a great volcano. That's right, saw like four foot in the air. That shit's hilarious. And David, you're only you're only a couple years older than me. You're fine. Maybe too many likes. I, no, I don't know. Uh, I don't know because it did that shit to me the other day. It doesn't make sense. Um, Facebook just randomly does that shit. I'll put. Look, the other day I was trying to share out my own. Matter of fact, it's in review right now. I put my own website in because somebody asked me about what the website is, and I said abadonapolion.com, and I put it in, and it flagged it. It flagged it and deleted the comment and wouldn't let me put it in there. It's my own website on my show, and it wouldn't Facebook would let me put it in there. And then it and then it blocked me from being able to comment, like, or share anything for like 24 hours. Like, what the frick is going on here? So I put it in review, and it's still in review, and it's, that's been that's been weeks. So Facebook's just goof. But y'all y'all will always have a home here with me. I'm not gonna block anybody unless y'all do something really bad, and then trust me, you gonna know because I'm gonna tell you about it. I'm not the type of person just to be like, uh, ghost block somebody. No, I'm going to chew your ass first. It takes me a lot to get to that point. But once I get to that point, trust me, the first person that is going to know is the person that I'm blocking. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, so if y'all haven't, and anybody watching this uh, live feed later or anything, if you haven't, go and like my page on Instagram. Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter is monster underscore Abaddon. It's in the center of the screen there, monster underscore Abaddon. That is on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. All right? As well, you can go to Mixer, which is just like Twitch. It's a live stream, live video stream, just like what we're doing right now, um, but it's on a different site. And you go to Mixer, and it's Abaddon Apollyon, one word. And, of course, I'm official Abaddon Apollyon on Facebook for anybody that's listening to this and not actually watching it. Do me a favor. Go share. If you go to my pages, go to the different, go to Instagram, where you can retweet some of my shit. Or, or re repost my, my stuff. There's there's a thing called Instagram repost. You can get it. It's a program, and if you like something on Instagram, you can click on it, and repost it, which is really awesome. Or uh, retweet my stuff on Twitter, or go like my stuff on TikTok. Um, I really would like to get up to five thousand followers by the end of the year, and only the way, only way I can do that is if you guys go and mass share my page and share out my content, and hopefully people that like it will see it. So there's my my thing. Um, so real quick, on abaddonapollyon.com, my website, abaddonapollyon.com, if you go there, there's a donation button, a Patreon button. You can get your pre-order for the Spencer's shirts. As well, There's it says Abaddon Merchandise. Um, that is my personal Teespring store. I have merchandise on there as well. Tons of leggings and T-shirts and all kinds of fun stuff for you that you can wear. And if you buy them and you bring them to a convention or one of the live shows that I do, I will sign it for you. No charge. Just bring it and I'll sign it. Okay. So, yeah, we've got all of that available and we have lots of fun things coming out. We got uh, Big Chris is working on some new stuff. Y'all saw me working on some of the Cult of Fool logos the other day. There will be patches, there will be socks, and there will be shirts, and we're going to work on some more. I told him yesterday I need a coffee cup, so we're going to work on that too. So there's going to be lots of fun things that you can do and get, and we're going to try to work on getting some some different fun things going on. So we've got one uh, Abaddon face right now, and we've got the Abaddon 1.0, which is the mask face too, but we've got the one face right now, and we're going to be working on making some other ones. So it's going to be a lot of fun. 
thank you so much Ann Pitts for saying I have some great TikTok videos that were really fun to make and I think it's a really good way to to get some uh, the other people to you know uh, like and follow me um, because this is such a close-knit community here on Facebook that um, it's it's not the easiest thing to get your uh, followers up but we're gonna work on it I think you guys are gonna help me so I really appreciate everything you do for me. You are the real heroes here. You are the amazing people. I am just a face on a shirt. But anyway, I love and respect each and every one of you. You are all amazing. Oh, that was my first time using it. And not release pressure. Oh yeah, the pressure cooker, yeah. Um, uh, Facebook is lucky to have. Thank you so much, Roy. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, Says you were using, oh, you had to slow down on the likes. Oh, I got you. I got you. That's cool. No, I appreciate every time you hit that like button, every time you hit that share button, every time you come into this room, you all make my heart swell and you make me, uh, I, I just love each and every one of you. You're amazing people. The fact that I can come on at seven o'clock in the morning and have seven to eight people steady in here every single morning just shows me that what I'm doing is worth something. And I know it'll grow. I know more people will come eventually. Especially when you start doing the evening feeds, when people are home and they're awake and everything's already going on. So we'll, we're going to work on that schedule. We just need to find a good time for me to go live in the evening. So we will make that happen here pretty soon and we'll stick to the schedule so we can get, uh, get the viewership up a little bit. We're going to have to in order to do the contest and have you know a good contest next year for the free vacation. So anyway... Much love, loyalty, and respect to each and every one of y'all. And I hope y'all have an amazing day. But I'm going to go to bed. It is 7.53. I'm going to end just a few minutes early, and I'm going to go to bed. So hit abadonapolyon.com. Go buy some merch. Go become a Patreon supporter. Everything you do goes to help us make a better stream and get to these live shows so we can sign this merch for you and everything else and have some fun. I'm going to make some videos, do some TikToks and other stuff later. I don't know if we're going to do it today, but we might. We might. It's a very good possibility. So, guys, y'all have an amazing day. Stay respectful to each other. Remember, if somebody's in a relationship, respect that from them. And if somebody has a friend, respect that from them. Like, you know, life is about respect. It's about love. It's about peace. It's about getting along. It's, you know, if you can't say something nice, tell me about it. Then don't say anything at all. <laughs> tell me first though because I like drama no I'm just kidding I don't but you know what I'm saying so I love you guys and y'all have an amazing night alright so what are the magic words love peace and chicken grease I'm out like the fat kid in dodgeball see ya tomorrow morning 7am ish <laughs>